morning, GC. I'm Carson Clymer here with Camden Wiley to bring you today's news. Today with a big bit of world news, the House of Representatives voted to impeach President Donald Trump. Reporter Kerry Cavett joins us now with more. Kerry? Thanks, guys. Yesterday, the House of Representatives voted to impeach President Donald Trump for obstruction of Congress and abuse of power over his dealings with Ukraine. We asked social studies teacher Mr. Richard what this means for America's future. Here's what he has to say. Hello, I'm Kerry Cabot, and I'm here with... Ed Richard. So, uh, President Donald Trump has recently been impeached. What is your opinion on the situation? Well, Kerry, this is uh, obviously it's historical. This is only the third president to ever be impeached. But I think it's important to remember that impeachment in and of itself means nothing. He has to be convicted by the Senate. That requires a two-thirds vote of the total Senate. So that's about 67 votes. And I just don't see the votes uh, being there. So this will be an asterisk beside his name. It'll certainly be in the history books. But uh, I think it's dead on arrival once it gets to the Senate. No president has ever been removed from office via the impeachment process. This vote sets up a likely January trial in the Republican-controlled Senate, where Trump is expected to be acquitted. Back to you guys. The Senate is made up of 53 Republicans, 45 Democrats, and two independents who regularly meet with the Democrats. At least 20 Re Republicans would have to vote with all Democrats, and the two independents to remove the president from office. Today's midterms come during 2A and 3A. Tomorrow's midterms come during 1B and 4B. There's a video on Squalogy for all students regarding Chromebooks batteries over break. Head to, the, to head to your Squalogy homepage and make sure to watch the video to keep your Chromebook battery healthy. You could win $250 just for writing a script for a radio PSA. The Regional Prevention Center is hosting a PSA contest for any student or a group of three students or less in the purchase region. The topic is nicotine delivery devices. The issue must be clearly stated. You must have a call to action and you must research the back, the back up your claims. The winner or a group of winners will have their 30 second PSA recorded with Bristol Broadcasting aired on the local radio. Each member of the group will have will win $250 as well. Applications are available in the office. During the break, Dan Walker looks ahead for tonight's basketball game, or basketball game. Plus, choose your character in the battle for products at Eagles Unlimited. Choose your character! Hey GC, tonight our Eagles and Lady Eagles basketball teams are headed to Ballard Memorial for third district matchups. Both teams are looking to bounce back from losses. The Lady Eagles face the Lady Bombers team that comes in at the 5-3 that year. Their game tips off at 6 o'clock. The Bomber boys are just 1-7 so far. They'll face the Eagles at 7-30. That's all of your sports action. For GCTV, I'm Dan Walker.
That's all for today's news. For GCTV, I'm Carson Clymer. And I'm Camden Wiley. And I'm Camden Ralston. Have, Have a great, great day, day, GC. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.